my theme is really gratitude and it's gratitude for this place. It's gratitude for the land. And most of all, it's gratitude for the people. Because without the people, there is no ashram. So it's our work together and our invitation to others to come in and taste the teachings that have nourished us, that keeps the ashram what it is. And a lot of the young people who came here and who continue to come here have learned to work through doing karma yoga. And, and that is so valuable to be able to work and especially to bring that quality into your work, that love, that you could bring love into your work in a world where work is often like a chore and a, and a downer and you just want to finish your day. So it's very inspiring. But I, I also feel deeply grateful for the invisible lineage of the ashram. So it's starting with Swami Shivananda Gurudev, who, who inspired Swami Radha through some kind of alchemical process to travel to India when she was 44 and leave everything behind to become a Swami and to eventually start this ashram. But her essence permeates the ashram. It never leaves here. That commitment and that promise that her life was about and that vision of people finding their way to what is most precious in their own hearts and to be able to, to send that love out. Like that's what the ashram is. And that's what it's for. And I feel grateful for the elders here. We, we say now the grandmothers are holding the teachings. The grandmothers are holding the work. And the grandmothers are the special ones who, who have the life experience and that dedication to, um, to inspire others and to, and to do everything we can. There's not anything that we wouldn't do to keep the ashram going. And then, of course, gratitude for everyone who comes here because they are like the bees that are attracted to those to the flowers so without the students there's no ashram in 2021 we also built friendships so i just like to acknowledge the territory that we're on is the sinaix and the tanaha and we have made really beautiful acquaintance with some of the people from these bands and that is something that we're dedicated to doing as we continue to live on this territory so 2023, next year, the 60 years, we're going to be thinking about, well, what is the ashram in the future? So that'll be a question you can hold in your mind. And how can you contribute? So we're an interdependent whole. The COVID thing showed us that. And we have choice. How do we support each other? How do we support the best in each other? How can we create unity instead of division? Namaste.